We are here. We are live. God bless you. Good evening. God bless you and thank you so much for joining us this wonderful uh, Wednesday evening. This is Adon Tebwating. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Please, I cannot share my videos, but you can share. If you're watching, welcome again. Please, can you share this video and invite your friends to join us? I don't know why I'm happy because you're watching. God bless you. Nyago fon shaw ate. Yesu adum yeti asi yengu ye. Ogusu ye enso. Adye nyina wade ne mobru hune adum bi akata ye enso. Meda wase. Se nyumre di awye nyina awe jain. Ena waba ahome esu ni mbabe ya bakon. Abe tiye mi. Nyago fon shaw ate. E wade nsh ma wunye ke siye pa. Ewo Yesu Christo di mo. E wade nsh raw. E wade nsh raw. E wade nsh raw. E wade nsh raw. Kesi 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 o misrao, o basoa, 
Mpacho be timi a share video ya mame unye bi insa kebia. Beni beje pa. Efri ye. Moli nesa. Ye mafi o neti sen. Nyanku pon shra wati. So for glory a sapon. Nyanku pon shra wati. Efi abu wati United Kingdom. Nyanku pon shra pa. Mami Kate Manson. London. Nyami shra wati. Richard Obobi. God bless you. Erika. Asare nyanko. God bless you wati. Jenny White. I could see yesterday your birthday was a blast. Oh, I'm happy for you. Dr. Slabi, God bless you. Olivia Enim. Emmanuel Kote, Richard Obobi. Benish Ekwianeli. Uh -huh. She's in the house. Kate Manson. Obabe Viabwahema. Nyanku Ponshate. Who else? Everlasting Sewa. I'm powerful. Bracket two. Hey, Yanko Ponsai. God bless you. Such a joy to see we're here. Any, any, welcome. Benedict Aoko. Oko. God bless you. Gloria Sapon. Reverend. God bless you. Amy Tank. Paulina Sam. We're in the house. Can we go? Let's go. God bless you. Nyami Shrao. I don't know whether you are around New York, New Jersey, Connecticut area, but the flyer you see, by the grace of God, in April 19th and 20th, I will be in Bronx, New York for this powerful, powerful program. Please, mark the date, watch the time, and get yourself ready. We are coming to New York. What will happen there will not be like, will not be a dream, but indeed, you shall feel the reality of God. God bless you. Nyamin Shraum. Share the video. Thank you. Welcome again. God bless you. I'm so happy. I don't know why I'm feeling so happy. Yeah, because you're watching. God bless you. Made us happy. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Elijah Boni, Nikwe, the master of the house, Nikwe. We all celebrate you. God bless you. 
for all the, the great work you do. Grace Sapon, my beloved daughter, Yanko Ponsha, what's him? Malis, the evangelist, God bless you. First lady, Ramadan, Timbo, what's him? God bless you. Thank you. If you are in the house, welcome to Yanko Ponsha, Kesi, Yapa. Gracious, do you feel that you are feeling hopeless and down? Then, somewhere, somehow, on a, <coughs> on a beautiful day like this, the Lord sends somebody with a peaceful voice to tell you that do not be afraid, do not be worried. The grace of God will be there for you. It is not sort over, of somewhere, somehow. Miracle he promises to do. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you and bless you and bless you again. Today, please, if you're watching, by the grace of God, I will not talk too much. I want to open the phone line that anybody, in case uh, you need somebody to talk to, maybe you've had a dream that is so bad, you need somebody with the insight of God to interpret your dream for you. Something is happening in your life, you need somebody to give you an advice, somebody to counsel you spiritually and physically you need somebody to tell you something by the grace of god with with the wisdom of god and the blessings of god whichever area of your life you need advice you need spiritual insight and help today i am going to make myself available for you write this phone number down in the next about 10 minutes i open the phone line Whatever is in your heart, whatever question you have, whatever thing is troubling you, I'll be more than joyed and blessed to talk to you openly, frankly, and truthfully. Please, write the number down, 508-762-7641. This is Adon Timboateng, your friend, your brother, and your father. Please, write the number down again, 508 508- 762-7641. If you are living anywhere around New York, New Jersey and Connecticut, on the, on the 19th and the 20th of um, April, I'll be having a massive revival there in the in New York area in Bronx. April 19th and 20th. Stay tuned. God bless you. Welcome again. Please, can you with joy share this video and invite your friends to join us? God bless you. Nyamin Shrao. I'm 
Doris Natty, God bless you. Welcome. Mami Dina Samoa, Yanko Poncha Bibriwati, Tiabuati. Alisa Kumia, get to the United Kingdom. Hey, get to On the on the 10th, no, on the 12th, on the 13th and 14th, I will be in the United Kingdom. I'll tell you more about it. But this time, I think I'll be in North London, all right? Yeah, I'll be in North London. So stay tuned. God bless you. Yamin Shawati. God bless you. Millicent, I'm watching. Mommy, God bless you. Be strong, all right? God bless you. May his spirit be with you. Please, take this number down. I am going to open the phone line very soon. I want somebody to talk to me. The number is 508-762-7641. God bless you. You can call with WhatsApp. You can call with regular phone. I'll pick your call and be a blessing for you. This is Adon Tembo acting. Yanko Poncha, pa, pa, pa. Maria Norte Let me tell you something, of course. As unto Let me tell you something. When after all your suffering and after all your pain, when the grace of God falls upon you, you never grow old. As old as you grow, the more beautiful you look. When the grace of God is upon you, you never pass. The Bible said you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of living waters. Every morning, every night, your season shall not pass. You shall grow from grace to grace. May the Lord bless you, prosper you, enrich, enrich you, you, and give you every favor you need for your blessing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh. Abrantia Watchery. My beloved son, you mean Sean on your case? What? Men, Kwame, Mami, Kate, Bansa, Mommy, you mean Sean? Rade be mama brabo aye ku kruhi ase ene enko be si de rade man empare me ya me sha wate so for belinda brown be blessed
So how long will Israel cry out of their slavery? How long will Israel feel that their God has abandoned them? God promised Abraham that Abraham, I will cause your children to go and live in a land as slaves. But I surely the Lord your God, I will come and save Israel to their promised land. After over 100 years, 200 years, 300 years, over 300 years, one day, someday, the Bible said God revealed himself to Moses and said, Moses, I have seen the pain, the misery, the wounds, and the bruises of my people Israel. I have heard their cry, and I have remembered my covenant with their father Abraham. I have remembered my covenant with their father Isaac and Jacob. And I have come down to save them to a land that is thrown with milk and honey. One thing I just want to tell you. Your miracle, your prayer might have taken long and hard. But someday, at some point, to the Lord's own glory, what the Lord has said in the mighty name of Jesus it shall come to pass. God bless you. Welcome. Please take this phone number down very soon. I open the phone and I want to talk to somebody. Maybe you've had a dream. You don't you don't know the meaning of it. Maybe something is happening around you. You don't understand. By the grace of God, in humility, the Lord will use me as a servant to be a blessing unto you. May the Lord put all your enemies to shame in Jesus' name. your shame the pain your failures your 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 retrogression and every challenge you face as a child of god is only for a time it's only for a moment as a child of god we are fixated we are instrumentalized into the master plans of god when your destiny is filled into the master plans of God. You can be delayed, you can be frustrated, and life can be as hard as possible. But one thing, sure, that as a child of God, they always remember that the promises of God are yea and amen. Then the Bible says in Isaiah 43, 
43, verse number 1. Grace, read. Now, this is what the Lord says. The one who created you, O Jacob, and formed you, O Israel, don't be afraid, for I will protect you. I call you by my name. You are mine. I am, I, you, you are not wondering about anyhow. It doesn't matter where your father or mother is. As a called of God, as a chosen of God, it doesn't matter the name your parents gave you. Before God formed you, he knew you. He said, Jacob, Israel, yes, you are living in slavery. You might be living in rejection. You might be living in poverty. Remember, I, the Lord your God, I have not rejected you. I have embalmed your name in the palm of my hands. Surely, I will, I will, I will, I will redeem you. I will honor you. And I will position you at a place to edify and to glorify the name of your Lord. God Almighty. God bless you. Hey, Doctor Kanda Somalilian, God bless you for watching. I right? God bless you. My love to the family. bless you thank you somebody made a comment here i cannot read to you god bless you thank you so much for watching i feel very encouraged that you're being blessed and i feel very encouraged that you feel in love god bless you i am very thankful that the lord brought you here to enjoy this service and to be a blessing there is a scripture i want to share with you but before i go please enjoy the service and share the video this is i don't think what thing don't be mistaken. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. And encourage yourself that Jesus loves you and you are always blessed. Ebu Baba. Hey, Docas, Nyaminsha, what's your suit, Sean Ebu Baba?
Then Elizabeth said, Blessed is the man that has not yet seen, but he has believed. I know you haven't seen your prophecy. You are praying, but you have not seen it. But Elizabeth said in the book of Luke, he said, Blessed is the man. Blessed is the woman that has not yet seen his miracle, but he believes. Yes, I haven't seen my private jet yet. I have not seen my helicopter yet. Mm. But I still believe. I still believe that my God, my God, he will bring my miracle to pass. Elbow Baba. When, before David will die, listen to this, I'm speaking to you as a father. Before David will leave the throne, David had asked that they should make Solomon the next of king, the next king of Israel. David gave a prophetic yet sol solemn advice to Solomon. I want you to listen to this advice. It's an advice, but take it also as a prophecy. It should lift up your faith in the Lord. It should encourage you. It should make you very strong. That even though when things don't work out and things you don't really see, you don't really see the hand of God doing things in your life, it doesn't mean God is gone away from you. First Chronicles 28 verse 20. Can you read it for me? David said to his son Solomon, Be strong and brave. Do it. Don't be afraid and don't panic. For the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not leave you or abandon you before all the work for the service of the Lord's temple is finished. He Grace, can, 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 can you read that? that this, is, this is very revelatory and it's very good. Just do it. Mm -hmm. Don't look to the left. Yes. Life has its own curveballs it throws at you. Mm -hmm. If you are so yet then, Assemble to be fierce. Yep. You might go down. Sometimes life can put you so down. <laughs> Sometimes you even feel like not living. I, have you ever feel like you don't you don't have to go to church? I'm I'm even I'm even tired. I don't know whether this church thing is true. Yes. This shaba 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 why shaba <laughs> ranks or something. Mm. Have you ever felt that way? Mm -hmm. Life has its own way of shaking you. Job was severely shaking by the devil he said i thought i would die in my nest how come what happened where is my god especially when you're going through stuff and the devil is telling you you have been praying and fasting and look at your god has disappointed you mm -hmm. job felt so shaking that he didn't even know what to do his own wife told him job it's enough just curse your god and die. how long are you going to suffer like that but let me tell you something. That is why the same Job said, I will not give up. I will not lose my faith. I will not give up on my God because the tree that has been chopped in half, it has hope. Believing that even though things have broken apart and I have no control and I have no ability to help myself, he believes because God is alive and indeed God is true. At some point, the Lord will take control. Amen. Even though I'm struggling, I am confused. My mind is perplexed. I am broken. I cry every morning and night. Job said, yes, the pain is excruciating. My life is shamed. My friends are laughing at me. All of them are sleeping right now, snoring. While I'm struggling. But Job said, I will not give up on my God. I will not lose my faith in Christ. Yes. Knowing this, 
understanding this and seeing something and knowing something david is now old he is now advising his son solomon be careful not to be distracted one of the biggest weapons of the devil is distraction <coughs> One of the biggest weapons of the devil is distraction. Frustration and distraction. When you need to concentrate most, that is why the devil brings all stuff of things just to frustrate you, to distract you. First Chronicles 28 verse 20. Grace, can you read it? David said to his son Solomon, be strong and brave. This is it. My dear, my sister, issues come storm come struggle come mm -hmm. father dies yes. mother dies mm -hmm. you might lose your job mm -hmm. your friends will turn their back on you mm -hmm. people will say all manner of things against you you might have issues here and there but in spite of it if your faith is in the lord and you believe how far you have come you have not come here because you are strong you have not been you are not standing where you are because you are smart mm -hmm. but by the grace of god Encourage yourself and be strong. Mm -hmm. Encourage yourself and be bold. Yes. Whatever you are doing, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Grace is the what? Be strong and brave. Uh -huh. Do it. Whatever you are doing, my sister. Do it. And you, mm -hmm. do it. Yes. Whatever you are doing, don't listen to them. They say, oh, stop. Mm. Can you stop? Why are you helping equal like that? Can you stop? Mm. Why are you alone? You are trying to build something for the family. Stop. Mm. Your mother is a witch. Hey. Your husband is a witch. Stop. Mm. My dear, whatever positive good you have chosen to do in your life, no matter how destructive the devil gets to you, don't let the destruction of the devil stop you. Yes. Encourage yourself. What? Yeah. I know you are not married and you are frustrated and confused. But don't let the marriage that has not come yet frustrate you. For all you know, God is now preparing a good husband for you. But there might be challenges and things also in your life. The Lord wants to heal you. The Lord wants you to work on your weakness and yourself. Yes. Please, don't rush because it is better to be single than to marry and be frustrated in marriage. Yes. It is good to be single than be married and go to bed at night sleepless. It is good to be single than to go to bed at night fearing that your husband must stab you in the middle of the night. It is good to be single than to go to go home at night and be afraid that your wife might put poison in the food. It is good to be single than to rush so certain things the devil might be using to distract you god knows better than you you must trust your god the good thing you are doing just continue to do remember it is not everybody that might agree with you but mama there are certain things as human beings when we live just by calling your name on this particular program, if it will make you happy, I will not stop. When you observe life, little things you do make people happy. Don't let the meanness and the anger of said, the bitterness of certain people stop you from doing it. The good you're doing, do it. The good you're doing, do it. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Remember, it is not everybody that will accept who you are. It is not everybody that will appreciate who you are. My name alone makes some pastors angry. Who is that guy? Me and me. Kabramwa. Tiemidiamwa. That one alone, it upsets somebody. But does it mean I have to be worried about him? You are who you are. You are blessed. You are a chosen generation. Amen. A royal priesthood. 
accepted, consecrated, favored, empowered, anointed by the Holy Ghost. No devil, no demon, no witch, no principality from hell can stop the blessings of God for your life. Amen. some people are just not happy because you're beautiful some people are just not happy because you are different mm -hmm. being different that should never put you down being different means you need to be celebrated yeah 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 and you always remember that beauty also lies in the eyes of the beholder mm -hmm. so if, if somebody says you're not beautiful for them if anybody says the monkey's baby is not beautiful for the monkey's mother, that monkey is very cute. Mm -hmm. You must accept yourself. Don't allow anybody, either marital challenges, uh, financial hardship, uh, life circumstances to ever put you down. Remember, he says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. My strength doesn't come from my enemy. My strength doesn't come from the people that resent me, who cannot stand my presence. Somebody saw me and he was angry. I went home and I changed myself and I dressed even better than he saw me. And I went back because I wanted them to see say, eh, Boboba. Yes. My dear, you are blessed. Amen. Don't allow circumstances. Today's circumstances will challenge you. For your future doesn't lie in your hands. Your future does not lie in the hands of your enemies. Your future as a human being, as a person, ordained and called by God, lays in the hands of God. You are blessed. Amen. I repeat, I said you are very blessed. Amen. Amen. Juanita, God bless you. Esther, Yamisha, Ate, Apia. Anytime you observe some people cannot stand you, you should always know they are envious of you. And mm -hmm. Env enviness started with the devil. I can prove to you, enviness is one of the biggest characters of the devil. So if anybody is envious of you or they cannot stand you, they have the spirit of the devil. Mm -hmm. So you should, not, you should never be distracted. You know, I went to work and they don't like me. Why would they like you? You are blessed. You are better than them. There is something about you they don't understand. When people don't understand your blessing, who you are, what you do, how you survive, how you're making it, you should always know they'll be jealous of you. Usually, if it is loving people, they'll come and ask you, how are you making it? How are you doing it? How are you blessed? How are you being blessed like this? But if it's an African person, are you? Witchcrafts. They will start getting jealous of you. They will hate you. Some people don't even want to hear your name. I've been there before. Recently, a pastor told me that, oh, I never knew, I've never met you, but I used to hate you. Yeah, he told me straight. He looked at me straight and said, I never met you before, but I just didn't like you. I just hated you. I said, why now? Why now? He said, I, I, I told you were some old man who was arrogant. I said, my friend, sure. Show you again. Back it up. Back it up. You don't need to tell me this nonsense. Nonsense. If you don't like me, this is your business. I am who I am. I do what I do because my faith is not in man. My faith is in the Lord. Do not allow anybody to put you down. Whatever good you are found to do in life, do it. 
whatever good you have chosen to do in your life my dear do it and always remember if it is only good and you are not hurting anybody and you are not trying to destroy anybody but what you're doing is good my dear i repeat don't allow any hater there are some people who are haters mm -hmm. there are some people they are haters they they wish that you will always be in class one how can you meet you and tell me i thought i don't think what it was an old man an arrogant man i never knew you were this and so and so and so mini and so why would you even tell me this in the first place if you hate me, it's your business. It's your blood pressure that will keep going up because I'm not thinking about you. So David said to his son Solomon, 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 my son, don't be distracted by things around you. Every good thing you have chosen to do, every good thing you have purpose to do, just do what? Do it. <laughs> I'll be so glad if you can share this video please click that button share and let our sister or brother get it if you're on any platform please share the video and let them also get it god bless you Grace of faith was still in Shra when you were Yama, what they are noble, Bob. bless you thank you today is wednesday wednesday if, if you're in europe it's very late and for you to take time out of your time in united kingdom or europe anywhere and you're watching god bless you thank you dearly please can you share this video also to that sister or brother that is laying on the bed and they can't sleep please share with them encourage yourself in the lord even as david encouraged his own son solomon at this time david has grown very very old he has seen you know let me tell you one thing life teaches us a lot of lessons mm -hmm. age if you are old and you don't learn lessons in life you are a fool can i repeat this mm -hmm. if you are, if you age in life and you don't learn lessons out of life you are a fool i'm not insulting you but i'm telling the truth age that is why when you're playing games around with people who have been through the life you're living mm -hmm. and they are watching you, you should, be, you should watch the way they are watching you because they know when you are going to fall. Mm. They know when you are going to fail. And if you are playing games and skirmish and you see any older woman or older man sitting there with their hand on their chin, with, 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 with their hand on their, with, with their, their chin on their hand, and you see them watching you be very careful because they know where you're going they've seen it all before they know it all before and they've been there before there's a saying that experience in life is the best teacher so my daughter is here grace she's about 20 something 
I have a mother here called Malizi. If Grace starts any lifestyle and Grace feels that she will come here and tell Malizi, oh Malizi, I'm just coming from home. When my daughter is coming from a boyfriend, Malizi will say, oh no, no, don't worry. Yeah, take, uh, come and do this. But as a mother, she's done what you're doing. She's lived the life you're living. She can tell the bird in the sky if they have egg in the stomach, she can tell it. Yeah. Obia we nina bo bracha pano. O huna no ma wa nam sura kosu yada no tua. O hunu. Enti nyami e juma yaebio. Ye huna sofon kete nkete iba no omu saba. Ni eka we trimse bo bo bane te se enche biano. Obe ti kwe. Obi be ti aso be ti dui. Sana u yo banso. Na u nusa mami peni bi wa tena se bo bracha. Na u ya u nusa waniati u ya smart. Na udi agro na mama na yedi inshawa, and chesa dia uye no unu yo, wohu bida, woni, wohu enyuma yedi sa adawa woni, ano ti enyuma so yedi sa kete ya woni, ano ti hala fun so woni, ano ni mu rege rege so. Joseph, no, David has lived every life you can imagine. David has chased women, he has been attacked. He has been consecrated, accused. He was a shepherd. He fought against Goliath. Um, um, his son died. Uh, he called Mephibosheth. Everything you can imagine, David has done it before. If you are living life with somebody that has fallen before, that has been disgraced before, that has made a mistake before, especially people who make mistakes and they are bold enough to say that, yo, my sister, I'm sorry. Brother, I made a mistake, I'm sorry. People like that, you should always love them. No matter how bad life can be, if you meet any man or woman that is humble enough to tell you, hey, my dear, it looks like what you're saying is true. I'm sorry. People like that, you should always love them. People who have the character, the tenacity, the, the, the wisdom mm -hmm. to realize a mistake. That is why the Bible said, in shadow, nipa wa jirin fum swatum. The Bible said, Blessed is the man that has accepted his wrong and is, he has been forgiven. That man is blessed. If you live in life, I repeat this, and you meet anybody that is humble enough, when you tell them, My sister, you hurt me, you wrong me, and they tell you, I am very sorry. People like that, you should always get closer to them. They are genuine. But if you live life with people that don't always want to sweep things under carpet, they want to refuse to accept wrong. They want to always play skimmish and games and gimmicks. They are very, very dangerous like the snake. First Chronicles 28 verse 20. David is a David, the experienced David. The old David is advising the new Solomon. The new Solomon, this advice, Solomon did not take it. So he died. When Solomon died, Solomon died in the house of an idol. Because Solomon, after some time, he started well. But after some time, Solomon refused to take the advice of his father. He died miserably. He, he forgot the fact that his father told him, Solomon, the good thing you are doing, do it. Grace, read the scriptures for me. David said to Solomon, his son, Be strong and brave. Do it. Don't be afraid and don't panic. For the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not leave you or abandon you before all the work for the service of the Lord's temple is finished. The moment you trust him and you have faith in him, and you will be obedient unto God, and you will humble yourself unto God, whatever he has started, until he has finished, he will not stop. So long as you are trusting God, Grace, can you read this again? Because a lot of Christians, we rise up, the Lord takes us up, and this is what is happening, especially in Africa. So many men of God that started with prayer, with prayer. Now everybody is saying they are prophets. Listen, it, you don't have to be a prophet for people to accept you. You don't have to do miracle for people to accept you. Mm -hmm. If your calling is of God, it's like a vision. Mm. 
Any calling of God is a vision. And remember, any vision that is of God, he gives a provision for the vision because if he gave you the vision to start a church, you don't have to bring somebody in a casket to come and tell people that I woke him up. If the vision is of God and your calling is of God, you don't have to go and pay money to people to come and pretend they were cripples and you healed them. The Lord your God that called you, he wants to honor himself, but he's only using you as a vessel. All that you and I must do daily, diligently, is to seek his face. Diligently is to give him the praise. Diligently is to honor him. Because always remember, Christ Jesus is the husband of the church. <coughs> Solomon. David said unto him, Solomon, whatever you are going to do as a king now, your father, I have been there before. I was a shepherd. I was born out of a wedlock. I am a bastard. It was by accident, by a strange accident, that I went and fought against Goliath. Today, who, see who I am. I have seen before. I slept with somebody's wife. I killed somebody. My son died before. I fell. I was almost killed by the, by, by the family of Goliath later in life. David said, I have seen everything. My son, wait on the Lord. Be diligent in seeking the face of God. If only you would do this. Whatsoever the Lord has started with you, he will take you to a perfect ending. But Solomon did not listen to his father. Today the struggle we are struggling in, in, in the body of Christ is that we refuse to be diligent in seeking for God. Every Christian is looking for a quick miracle. Every Christian is looking for a quick miracle. So because you are looking for a quick miracle and we are not waiting on the Lord, we are living our life like people who go to McDonald's to buy a burger. If you go to McDonald's to buy a burger, you don't have to turn on the oven. Or you don't have to turn on the microwave. You go through the window, you want large size, medium size. Then you pass through the back. By the time you get there, it's ready. Mm -hmm. It is in the casket. Menyaneno. Mm. Apostle David Amua, my brother, I salute you. God bless you. Madam Vida Pechinia, me show it. You need to see Tiamua. David in Tia, me show Daniel Inti, God bless you. I don't know if you are sharing the video, but you're welcome. Please share the video. God bless you. This is Bishop Gofiad on Tebuateng. Yanko Ponchra gets the pan.
me nim se makache so wonya ngu ya wate ngu da e wade no monya mbeda de wo so enye yesu aduma nke ewu kojo Okay, Elijah, one is in the house. God bless you, Nikwe. You didn't hear me as I said, Elijah, one is in the house. God bless you, Nikwe. Oh my God, he's laughing. <laughs> hey, Nikwe is here for. Maybe it's Kakari Benson. Hallelujah. Hey, dear, cut out the loyal. Hey, dear, seventy. Hey. Nana, my uncle, your daddy loves you. What's it? God bless you. If you are if you're listening tonight as a Christian, you are very welcome and God bless you for being here to enjoy this particular powerful service. I want to counsel you and also prophesy to you as a Christian. Today, uh, the, 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 I hate to call Christianity a religion because we are not, we are not religious people. Religious people live by rules and regulations. Christ, the people of Christ, we don't live by rules and regulations. We live under the grace of God. Always bear that in mind. So the people who do religion, they say, Thy shall not, thy shall not, thy shall not. You won't go to heaven. You will go to hell. Thy shall not. I try to step back quietly from them. Because the life we all live, no matter who you are, the life we live, we live under the grace of God. Bear that in mind. It is the message of God that through the salvation of Jesus Christ, we have all been saved. It is not because of anybody's righteousness. I'm not saying this to perfect and to encourage you to sin. But whoever you are and whatever you do, it is like a rag. It's like a rag tag before God. But you know what? The salvation that Christ Jesus has given unto us, that we, through his calling, we have accepted Jesus as our personal, as personal savior that we have all been saved. And therefore, and therefore, anybody who waits on the Lord and seek for his face, no matter who you are, if you call him, he will respond. If you call him, he will answer. If you wait on him, he said, he said that one of the most painful things as a believer you can do is to wait on God. Ish. One of the most painful, excruciating, very difficult thing anybody would do successfully is anybody says, I'm waiting on the Lord. Like Solomon. No, like Abraham. Abraham was waiting on God to give him the prophetic Isaac. Ten years, nothing. Meanwhile, his wife was growing old. And Abraham was also growing old. So as old as Abraham grew, as old as Abraham grew, as a man, the more you grow, the more your banana becomes a banana. The more your plantain becomes a banana. Nikwe, is that true? Yes. Aha, uh -huh, I know. Abraham was growing old, 99 years old. 99 years old. His wife, Sarah, was over 92. But he was still waiting on God. Now, his wife, Sarah, said, Abraham, yo, come. Abraham said, huh? Yes, him. He said, yo, Abraham, it looks like, you know, you remember when God told you and I were going to have children? Mm -hmm. Now you are 102. I am 99 and a half. Mm -hmm. Abraham, nobody's here. Can you take this girl, this girl, this maid servant, the father is not here, the mother is not here, and let's have a child with her. You, you should go and try and knock her back out there and... and, and and let's tell her to go away and take the child. Sarah, 
she couldn't wait. Abraham was afraid of Sarah. One, one, of the things, one of the things I want everybody to know, Abraham was a man who was very, very fearful of his wife, Sarah. I want you to understand, because if Abraham was not afraid of Sarah, like he should even look at this girl like, what am I going to do with this maid servant in this house? But when Sarah said, Abraham, Sarah, my dream call. What can you have? He Hega. Hega. So, I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a I just want you to wait on the Lord, all right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mr. Aka and your wife, God bless you. Woo! Bien will be me a cell the beard. Mami Joyce Juma, God bless you. Why are Richard Nelson, you are blessed. Can I tell you something? No devil, no demon, no witch from your father's family, no witch from your mother's family can stop you. You are like a train on a real track. Ba 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Ah. What is all this for? Hold on, I said, hold on, my friend, let's go. Like that, woo woo, woo woo, what was the way of the bantama? Oh, woo woo, woo woo. Mr. Alote, Yvonne Alote, God bless you, what's him? Psalm 56, verse 3 and 4. Can you read that for me, please? When I am afraid, mm. I trust in you, in God. I boast in his presence. My goodness. When when I'm, I'm afraid and and the the fear of life is in my face. And my enemies are saying, Oh, he will die very soon. I don't think he's gonna last another month. Mm. I don't think he's gonna last another day. Do you see his face? His face is changing. That guy is going down. He said, even in my fear, Yedo, I might be walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Because I know and I believe that this Jesus I have accepted and this Christ that lives in me that is greater than he that is in this world. Mm -hmm. And he has promised me that he will not disappoint me. People can sleep and snore around me, but I will not be shaking. 
people can gossip about you persecute you and lie about you but you will not be trembled because you believe and you know the God you are serving, this Jesus you are serving, this God you have believed, this Jesus you have accepted as your Lord and personal Savior. He is a God that never disappoints those who trust in Him. Even though you are afraid and the circumstances are fearful, wonderful, dangerous, but I will still believe, I will still boast in my God because this God, He will never, ever, 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 ever disappoint me omo free se me wu sunye yesu adun wa ke me wu ampo na su ko jo to kai ah so pari god bless you I never knew Grace can dance like that. Mumbai chan saw me banana sawa. Hey, if you are sing. Please, can you share this video? I don't know. I'm getting over excited here. I told you God is good. Yeah, so as I was saying, as I was talking about Abraham, Grace, you are a young girl. Close your ears. Okay. I, Nikwe, are you there? Yeah, so as I was talking about Abraham, you have to open the phone line. I, listen, God promised Abraham in Genesis 12 that Abraham, don't worry. Don't worry. Abraham said, oh, yes. God said, Abraham, I know you are old. You are 75 years old. Your wife is 73. Don't worry. I will make you a father of many nations. Surely, in no time. Grace, where are you going? Okay. In no time. Don't worry. I will make you a father of many. I'll give you so many children. Abraham said, yes, 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 yes. Amen, 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 amen. But, 1 Samuel, uh, okay, Genesis 12, Genesis 13, 14, 15, still, <laughs> nothing was happening. Ten years later, uh, Genesis, I believe, 15 or 15 or something, 16. Abraham one day told God, oh God, so am I going to die for somebody's children to take over my wealth and my blessing? I have suffered. So God said, Abraham, don't worry. I am a covenant keeping God, so don't worry. Okay. And then at some point, now Abraham was 99 years old. His wife, Sarah, was 97. The Abraham was still believing God that one day, someday, ha, huh, but you know, every man, I repeat, when men grow up and they turn to 99 years and 100 years, usually their plantain begins to turn into banana. You know, the banana, the very, the banana that has grown from yellow to the black. When men grow older, their plantain begins to turn into banana, and the yellow banana, as it grows older, it turns into aquadu. Aquadu is a uh, kwedu. The guns say aquadu. The the trees say kwedu. Then the fanti say what? Impua. Impua. Impua means what? Aquadu. Okay. Aye. Okay. So Abraham realized that in fact things are getting very old. Sarah was also 90, 99 years old, growing very old. So Sarah. Realizing that now menopause, Sarah knew that she has even passed menopause. So Sarah sat down and said, Abraham, I know you are trusting God and you are believing him. You are a, you believe in God, but Abraham, let me tell you something. Abraham said, What? Then Sarah said, Abraham, you know how God promised us that very soon he's going to give us Isaac, and now you are 102 years. I am also uh, 100 years old. Abraham. Now you are very old. Before next year, I don't know what will happen to the, the banana now. So, that little girl who lives in her house, called Hagar. Abraham, I'm going to pretend as if I'm going to the market to buy some stuff. When I go, try and 
pass the back there and finish some quick one gallon. <laughs> you know what I mean, huh? So that later on, the little girl, if she, if she gets pregnant and she brings a child, we shall take the child and let her go. Abraham said, huh? What are you saying? Sarah said, come on, do it. When you are a man and you are sometimes afraid of your wife too much. Oh, yeah. What's wrong with you? Yeah. If you're a man, you have to love your wife and respect her. But please, you don't have to carry her bag on your head. Otherwise, not head I there. It won't be an eye there. Okay. So Abraham said, Oh, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I take care of her. And now, all too soon, they, Sarah could not wait for God to bring the promise to pass. Sarah could not just wait. So Abraham slept with the little girl, Hagar. And, you know, Abraham. He has been waiting for pregnancy for a long time. So, Utmuze, uh -huh, long time. So, everything immediately Abraham slept with a little girl. The little girl became pregnant. Waiting on the Lord. Waiting on the Lord. Waiting on the Lord. Now, just as the little girl became pregnant, it didn't last more than four or five months. Now, the old girl Sarah is also pregnant. Can I tell you something? If you can be patient for you to wait on God. I don't know how long it has last. I don't know what people are saying. I don't know how you are looking at people's faces to make decisions. Some of you, you feel so inferior. Every time you do things, you want to see, you want to view what people will say. Mm -hmm. You want to see what people's faces will be like. The decisions you make, because you want to impress people, you know your car can buy a Hyundai, you are going to buy a Mercedes Benz because you want to see the opinion of people. Yes. Don't live your life like that. Mm. If Abraham and Sarah had waited, there shall be no Ishmael to bother Israel and to bother the people of Jerusalem. God bless you. God Amen. bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. But your shabid, eh, my team and fuck up, please. Oh, Mr. Kajobis, yeah, Abraham, hey, Vape. Can I repeat this? If you're a man, you should love your wife, you should honor your wife. You should care for your wife as loving as possible, but please try not to carry your wife's bag on your hair. Otherwise, it will make you But as a man, you're supposed to love, dignify, honor, and respect your wife as loving and as sweet as possible. But the day you carry your wife's bag on your hair. Hey. Hey. I didn't ask you to be a stress, sir. Ah. Please, can you call me, please? Uh -huh, call me, please. I was supposed to take the, uh, start the phone call a long time. But I got overexcited. So please, you can call me. The number is on the screen. It's 508-762-7641. Please. I mean, please, you can call me 508-762-7641. Yamin Shrao, Yamin Shrao, Yamin Shrao. Sister
papa bi atro me se se on so ana yire ba give you ai anka ni na me su ni amo Someone for a church or be more inbox, the MS and the Kabich or Yamash, yes, yes, it been any party. Minister of Craig and Atame or about some new. Please, can you call me five zero eight seven six two seven six four one? Adam, Mama, who will do one? Yamisha, what? Elijah Bonnie, God bless you. Nikwe. Great support, my daughter. God bless you for your support to your father. What is Yamishrao? Yamida wa yebio wa yebi pa o wa yebi pa pa Hallelujah Hallelujah Eh sa uti me na obi di beye obi di bonsam obi di adro we di obi di bosom obi di otan e bie nani e fitri nani e manche ni ama wo abra bom oni pa kono nani frase se ya e wo yesu di mo Lizzie, God bless you. In fact, today Nikwe has done something here. We are all very happy. For some strange reason, the new is here. Nikwe, okay, what pause? Hey, if you are saying. And all sin and the sin I say light. Hey, if you are sin. First lady Rama don't think what God bless you too. Yamisha what thing? Everybody shall. Michelle was a wood tear me and now die at the pao. What? Then you're me, Shrow. Who nay? Who nay you? If you ask you, where for seeing Nipa no more town? If I did show it, you'll be a no more town, sister. And show our town one one walk and send my name, yo, yo. Where for what? Why you're an in? Show a dimple. Show a body. Show a nichi. When nichi, I say, ah, sister. And your mammy can be my yamon show. Yamin show what? I want friend and Yamidia Gauza. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Somebody is watching me. You are having very severe headache. May the Lord heal you right now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
very soon I have to do a blind date on this program or how to try and organize. I, I, most of the men that watch this program, for some reason, they are single. And there's a lot of women that are also watching that are single. I have to be in the middle and pray in the name of Jesus and make sure that every woman that is on the platform and every man also that is on the platform that is not married, we shall connect, we shall connect you by, by divine grace. And this one, if you want, we shall not do any wedding for anybody. We shall do a man's wedding. Whether you want to wear kaba, blouse, or gown, it doesn't matter. This is a man's wedding. You can, if people want to come, fine. If you don't want to come, fine, because there will be people there already. And you don't have to do any reception. After that, we shall do a nice reception for everybody. It doesn't matter how many people will come with you. They should come and talk free. So please. We are in the process of organizing this mass wedding celebration. Especially if you are living with a man or woman and you think you don't have money to marry, so you are holding yourself back. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. The more you live with the man, all too soon, he will be tired of you run away. You have to change his leg. Any man or woman, especially the woman, if you are living with any man and the man hasn't married you and you are thinking you are trusting him, sister, stop it. You have to put a chain on the leg. Well, the reason why women go to court to marry men or push men to marry them is that they want to put a chain on the leg. Because men, hmm. So please, I repeat this. Very soon, we're organizing. We're going to organize a massive mass wedding. Every man that is on the platform. I know a lot of men that are not married. But you know, they've been married and the marriage broke up. So they are hanging, their legs are hanging in the air like before when Ghana police didn't have a handcuff. So when they catch you, they have to grab you at the back of your bed. Yeah. A lot of men, they are, their feet are hanging in the inframa. Yeah. So we're going to find nice women to, to adjust themselves to nice men, bless them, and go and live together. And if you don't have money, don't worry. We shall organize a mass wedding. Nice wedding, very, very, everything, decoration, nice. Whether you want to wear blouse, akaba, gown, or grace, what else? Akaba, uh, blouse, or gown, what else? Please, it doesn't matter. We are going to organize this massive mass wedding for everybody. And we shall bless it for you. Go home and leave. Like Abraham and Isaac. Hey, Abraham <laughs> and Sarah. No mercy for Abia. Yeah, I know you are single. I know. From the way you say, hey, Mel, I know you are single. I know. Don't worry. So please, if you know you are single and you are looking for uh a born again spiritual man if you are coming on facebook please oh by no you when you make up kakana yeah show what tv so me man no show na just be bia na ah you who be bia or didn't lie ever and here no disappointment if any man comes here and tries to come and play any 419 one kasawala wala be wude if we are still on our kwa ata Yeah, one man has responded. Emmanuel Kote, he said, yes, 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 yes. Yes, I know, I know, I know. A lot of men. The women you don't know, a lot of men are watching. A lot of them also, they wait for us to finish and they come and watch. I know all of them. So very soon, we're going to organize a mass, mass wedding. Where your ex-wife will not come there and scatter things because of everybody. Now we'll lie out demon. We'll be on the phone. I don't know, my time is up. I gotta go. Hey, my name is Bishop Kofiad on Temple Hatting. I am feeling highly elated, empowered, envigored, blessed, anointed. Hey, Nyaku Pon Shawati, I love you, I love you, I love you. Tomorrow, 4 30. 
I'll be back. New York time. God bless you. Yamin Shawatim. I love you. Yes, below B. A cracker below. Anyway, can I tell you something? I love you and I love you and I love you. Tomorrow I'll be back. God bless you. I really appreciate your time. May the Lord smile unto you in Jesus' name.